Hi there! Today I'm going to show you why it is useful to add tags to your photos on Flickr. Tags are basically selected terms that you would use to describe your photos. Flickr will usually provide a few general tags automatically, but the better described your photos, the more visible they are to other Flickr users. There are several ways to tag photos on Flickr. You can add the same tag to batches of photos, or add specific tags to individual photos. Adding tags to batches of photos can be done during the photo upload process. Now let's click on the batch uploader application and get started. First we will drag and drop three photos into the uploader application. This is the most efficient way to add large numbers of photos all at the same time. Now that my photos are in the uploader, I'm going to put them in an album so they'll be easy to find later. Make sure you select all three photos before making any changes. The tag field is on the left, underneath the description field. I'm going to add a blanket tag that describes all three of these photos, Canada. Make sure you select all three of the photos before you add the tag. Now that the tag has been added to all three of the photos, we can hit Upload. So the photos have been uploaded and we have found the photos within the app. Now let's click on this photo and add some specific tags. Scroll down the page to the information section below. The tagging field is just down below the Add Album field. As you can see, this tag already has the Canada tag we added during the upload process. But the more well described your photo is, the better chances people have of finding it. So let's add another one. Let's add Rock Formation. To add two word tags, use quotation marks. The shaded tags represent tags added by the user, while the white tags represent tags automatically attached by Flickr. Providing key terms that describe your photos is a great way to make them more visible and searchable to the online community. However, sharing photos publicly will always come with the risks of copyright infringement. Always ensure that you have the privacy setting on each photo set to the appropriate level of copyright protection you wish to receive. Details about the meanings of those settings and the implications each has in relation to Canadian copyright laws will be covered in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.